welcome to another video. Today is Thursday the 13th of October 2016 and in tonight's video I'm going to look ahead and preview day one of the PDC Happy Bet German Darts Championships which is going to take place on Friday the 14th of October. Now day one sees a double session of darts. The afternoon session starts at 12pm UK time and will run through till 4pm UK time and consist of eight matches. The evening session will start at 6pm UK time and run through to 10pm UK time and again will involve eight first round matches. So with 16 first round matches take place on day one, it will see all the unseeded players take part on day one before the seeded players, the 16 of those will enter on day two and they'll put the 16 winners from day one. Now we'll start the afternoon session, we'll see Andy Bolton take on Scott Taylor and I think this will be a very very interesting match because Andy Bolton's got the experience, Scott Taylor doesn't have the experience, it'll be interesting to see which ones will it be youth or will it be experience, that lack of experience on the big stage or the big experience in big stage and Andy Bolton. Andy Bolton should be used to the European Tour stage now and he takes on Scott Taylor. I think it's been an interesting match to watch but I think Andy Bolton will win this match by six legs to four over Scott Taylor. The second match will see Mickey Mansell take on Justin Pipe. Now both are very slow and deliberate players who don't like to rush things. I think this will be a very interesting match because both could either put themselves off playing at a slow pace or they both might click into gear and might see a good match here. I think this will be a very interesting match between these two because both have a point to prove in their own way. And I think this will be a very, very tight match. I think this will go all 11 legs. And I think that Justin Pike will edge out Mickey Mansell in this match by six legs to five. The next match sees Yenos Vegas take on Darren Johnson. Now, Yenos has played a couple of times in European Tour before. As is Darren Johnson, I think it's a very interesting match because it's a real trade match. A lot of players outside darts don't know these two, but I think it's a very, very close match between these two. But I think Darren Johnson will win this match by six legs to three. The next match sees Ron Mullenkamp take on the third Home Nation qualifier. Now when I record this video, I don't know the Home Nations qualifier, so I can't go into much depth about this video, this match in this video, but... I think this will be a very, very tight match, whoever's in this, because I don't think Ron Mullenkamp's really a level above who the Home Nation qualifier will be. And depending on who the Home Nation qualifier is, they have a big chance in this match. But I think Ron could prevail in this match by six legs to four, six legs to five. The next match sees Dave Pallet take on Brendan Dolan. Now, Brendan will want to rediscover some of his old form in past years, but Dave Pallet's a new upcoming start and he really wants to make a name for himself. And beating someone like Brendan Dolan, he really could do that. I think that's a very interesting match. Like a lot of the afternoon matches, I think are very, very interesting. I think that Dave Pallet will beat Brendan Dolan in this match by six legs to four. The next match sees Robbie Green take on Christian Kiss. Now, Robbie Green's in some good form recently. I expect him to produce a very, very good showing against Christian Kiss. It'll be interesting to see how Christian Kiss wrist is. If it's up to 100%, that's quite an interesting match. But I think that Robbie Green's match experience and playing all the time will get him over the line in this match with Christian Kiss. And I think Robbie Green will win this match quite comprehensively by six legs to two against Christian Kiss. The next match sees the second Home Nation qualifier take on Eddie Dudson. Now, I expect this to be an interesting match. Just like the last one, I don't think there's much difference between the Home Nation qualifier and the Eddie. I think it's a very, very interesting match and we go all 11 legs. I think I can't decide my winner because I just don't know who we're up against. The last match of the afternoon session sees Peter Hudson take on Vincent van der Poort. This will be the match of the afternoon session because there are a lot of questions to answer in this match. Peter Hudson can be very, very good on his day and he takes on Vincent van der Poort. Again, he's one of those players that's in and out, but he's had more out days than in recently and I expect Peter Hudson to beat him in this match by six legs to five. I think if this match goes close, I think there's only one winner in this match. I think it's Peter Hudson. Now, as I said before, there's 
eight matches in the evening session. And the first match of the evening session sees a brothers take on each other. We see the West brothers take on each other. We see Steve West take on Tony West. I think it's a very, very interesting match because they both could bring out the best in each other or they could both bring each other down. Now, Tony West hasn't been in many competitions in recent times. He did qualify for the last European Tour event. But Steve is the informed West brother just now and I expect Steve West to beat Tony West in this match by six legs to three. The second match of the evening session sees Mark Webster take on Merdrin King. Now both of these players we want to progress in the money in this competition. Both have got points to prove because both have been at the top of their field in previous times and now they're further down the rankings. I expect this to be an interesting match. And if Mervyn can get off to a quick start in this match, I think he'll beat Mark Webster in this match. Mark's got to get over the demons in his head. He's got a little bit of dark eyes, but he's tried to get over that in recent times. I expect this to be a very, very interesting match. I think Mervyn King will win this match by six legs to four over Mark Webster. The next match sees Chris Dobie take on Ted Evets. Now, Ted's a very, very young player and inexperienced at this level. Chris Dobie's now got that more experience by playing in the World Series and many European Tour events. I expect Chris Dobie's experience to be a little bit too much for Ted Evets in this match. I expect Chris Dobie to win this match by six legs to one over Ted Evets. The next match sees Crystal Reyes take on Mark Walsh. Now, Crystal Reyes has been indifferent, but he's been showing some positive signs in recent times. Mark Walsh hasn't been showing many positives in recent times since qualifying for this event. I think Crystal Reyes will beat Mark Walsh in this match by six legs to three. The next match sees the Pie Man take on a Home Nation qualifier. Home Nation qualifier won. The Andy Smith hasn't been great for him, but if he can click this week, he can have a good run. I expect this to be a close match, but I think Andy Smith would win this match against a home nation qualifier by about six legs to three. The next match sees Roby John Rodriguez take on Kyle Anderson. This is a very, very interesting match because on their day, both can be world class, but off their day, they can be very, very average. Roby John Rodriguez is still learning his art and darts as he's so young, but Kyle Anderson has, this has really got to make it here. And I think this will be an interesting match. I think Kyle Anderson will beat Robbie John Rodriguez by six legs to five. The penultimate game of the evening sees Kevin Painter take on Jordi Mizwes. Wise. Now I expect this to be an interesting match, but I think Kevin Painter will get off to a flyer in this match, and I don't think Jordi will be able to keep up with him in this match. I think Kevin Painter will win this match by six legs to two over your day. Now the last match of the evening session sees Steve Hind take on the Home Nation Qualifier 4. I think like many of the other Home Nation Qualifiers, they were a very very good chance in this match. Again, I think it was a very very close match, but I think depending on who gets through, they could win this match, but if it's a weaker Home Nation Qualifier, then Steve Hind will win this match. That isn't a great preview of that match, but I really can't say any more than that. So with that, that's the end of this video. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up on the video. If you want to leave any feedback on this video, you can do so by the comment section below or by my Twitter, which you'll also see in the description below. And until tomorrow, I'll preview day two of the 2016 PDC Happy Bet German Darts Championships. I will see you then. Goodbye.